Hello and welcome to another Amsterdam Metro video where we're going to talk about Amsterdam's newest metro line and a spoiler alert, trouble, trouble, trouble. Until recently, Amsterdam only had one line in the city centre. The construction of this line was very disastrous for the historic buildings that sat on top of the route. I made a video about that, so watch it after this video if you haven't seen it yet. I'll put a link to it in the description. So where was I? Oh yeah. That line was completed in 1982 and it was decided never to build another metro in the city centre again. In 2003 they started the construction of the north-south line in the city centre. Which would make the metro map look like this. The line had to be built from Amsterdam South Business District and Railway Station, what you can see in this video, through the street layout in the city centre, where many historic buildings are standing that are founded on the soft soil of Amsterdam, to eventually pass under the central station and the Eye River to reach Amsterdam North. But it's also possible that the line goes the other way around. Who knows what the beginning and the end of the line is. Due to the demolition of many houses during the construction of the first line under the city centre, the Amsterdam population was very skeptical about the construction of this new line. But something had changed. This line would be built with tunnel boring machines instead of the cut and cover method of building caissons above the ground and then letting them sink on their place, as was the case with the previous line. Moreover, the line would follow the street pattern, so hardly anything could go wrong. It was agreed that any cost overruns had to be paid by the municipality of Amsterdam. The total project costs for them were estimated to be 370 million euros. After six months of working on a totally non-risky project right through a historic centre with an incredibly weak subsoil with houses that stand on wooden foundations that lose their strength if the groundwater level drops even slightly, something totally unexpected happened. The tram rails on the Vijsselgracht were sinking. Four months later, a bridge on the station square was sinking. And eight months later, four historical houses were sinking two centimeters. In 2006, leak in the construction site in Amsterdam North, the same at the central station, cost overruns. In 2007, more cost overruns. In 2008, again, more cost overruns. Four houses on the Vijsselgracht sink five centimeters. Work stops, work continues. Six houses on the Vijsselgracht sink three to 23 centimeters. Cost overruns. Then they found out that fire doors also cost money and that switches need to be built in the tracks so you can turn around in the end. Then the budget was being recalculated and they were still short of 500 million euros and the total project was delayed by 7 years. But in 2018 it was finally open to the public. The line is 9.7 kilometers or 6 miles long and is for 69% underground. The line has 8 stations and it takes 50 minutes to go from one end to the other end. The deepest point is 31.7 meters, which is 34.6 yards. But where there was failure on land, building under the Eye River was a great success. There, pre-made tunnel sections were sunk to the bottom of the river. There also was dug a small canal under the 150 year old monumental station to sink a tunnel section under the building. This was the first time in the world that such a thing had been done. 